Hello, ni hao, apa kabar? This is Caterpillar Tomoko. Welcome to my humble channel. Let us continue our gameplay in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. After some, after me trying to goof around, I got killed like some places over, over here and there. And I think, like it or not, we will still have to do the main quest. So, let's go and do that. Starting with the regional phenomena in the Hebra region. So the Rito village, something must have gone wrong. And let's see if we can make our way there. Ah, so this is where we should be going. Alright, let's go. Rito village. Good, at least we're here. Where's the salmon? Look a little different now. It's also depressing now.
It really sounds so depressing. I wonder if it will trigger any cutscene. Let's trigger a cutscene. With this cold, I won't be surprised if Teba died freezing. The structure is a little different too. Are you guys still all set? Let's sing. Q? Which one's Q? Molly! How are things going, mister? Genli? We're about to practice our song. It's called the song of the storm, work, storm wind arc. We are all going to sing it together to save our village from the upheaval. There were five of you. Now there's just three. Huh? Not. Are you going to listen to our song, mister? Let's hear it. <coughs> Yay! We love an audience, so we'll give it our best for you. Everyone ready? A one and a two and... A god fell from heaven, stilling the Hebra winds. The heavens grew lifeless, just as the air below thinned. With the world in upheaval, we pledge our help. We pledge to help the Lord. 
a line of ships soaring, built as a passage skyward. Oh, skyward sword. The god ascended to heaven, leaving behind an ark. Its winds brought us new life, thanks to its great divine spark. Ah. You know, this song is about the Ark that saved Vital Village a long, long time ago. Something bad happened then, just like it's happening now. Oh. Hey... That storm wind arc, is it really you? Is it really real? Gosh, I'm sluggish. I can't even read right. I'd be happy if it was. I'd be so happy if it was. Oh. It definitely is. Papa told me it's always watching over us, high in the sky. Oh. We could sure use its help with, its, with this awful blizzard. Most of the adults aren't around anymore because of the weird weather. Oh. That's why. Is this why we don't see Teba now? Ah! Well, if we don't have the Ark, and we still- and we don't have the adults, it's up to us kids to take care of the village. Practice is over for today. Genli, you are in charge of food. And Molly, We'll need you to make arrows. Yeah! We've all got jobs to do, so let's do them. Hey! Yeah. Hi! Kid power. Ah! Did you like the song of Stormwind Arc, mister? I can sing it again for you if you want. That's alright. <laughs> I'll be practicing the song here, so let me know if you change your mind. They're trying to be cheerful, but it's so depressing. How much are they going to charge now? Where are the adults? Seriously, where are they? Oh. oh no, I did it again! The beds are too soft and inviting. Ah. Cots! Eep! A customer! Who's sleeping? I wasn't sleeping, not me! Oh. Well, welcome to Swallow's Roost Inn! We don't have any other guests at the moment, so rest easy and rest well. Good morning, mister. Did you sleep okay? Well, take care. Where are the adults? Well, we know Pen is working. Is that the closest shrine? We need to activate this one.
don't. This is, but hold on. Sorry, didn't mean to startle you. I f need fish though, Genli. Welcome. <gasps> Cree. Hooray, a customer! Welcome to the Slippery Falcon General Store. Thanks for stopping by in spite of the weather. <sighs> so, um, what can I do for you, mister? What's this place? This is the shop where you can buy cooking ingredients, plus all sorts of other stuff. Although we haven't got much business since the blizzard took the bridge. Hey mister, have you seen the building with the big horse on top of it across the bridge? The people there make this kind of thin books called newspapers. They used to be our best customers, but I haven't heard from them in a while. Okay, is that all? Do you want something else you, while you're here? Goodbye. Sorry our shelves are kinda empty, it's cause of the heavy snowstorms. If you need food like fish or mushrooms, you could try poking around the caves outside of town. There's a bunch of caves along the road to the east, and even more of them in the Hebra Mountains. I do want some goat butter. One. That's good. I'll have Hi. one. <laughs> oil jar. Wait, do I need lantern here? A mild oil extracted from plant seeds. It's very versatile in cooking and can cook flavors from ingredients used in many dishes. Also good for adding fuel to fire. <coughs> also good for adding fuel to fire. with this Hi. full tummies oh it's getting full tummies make for a happy Rito that's why I like learning new meals out of the recipe book I saw one in there that I know everyone would love <laughs> a fish made with staminoka bass doesn't that sound yummy <sighs> problem is I can't leave the village to catch a staminoka bass Thanks to this dumb blizzard. Yeah, you're Gendy. You're the one who wants the salmon in here. I have everything else. The bands of weed, go butter, rock salt. Oh, I better quick jot this one down. Aww. But if I'm gonna make a fish pie, I'll need the fish. I need staminoka bass. <laughs> I know that smell. You have staminoka bass, don't you, mister? Is that for me? Sure is. I didn't know how I got it, but never mind. Really? Thanks! Now I can cook something that will make the whole village feel better. Okay, mister, hold out your hand. Biting simmered fruit grants a low-level attack enhancement in cold places. Cold weather attack. Made by heaping tasty fruits into a pan and simmering fruit to tender. <laughs> You can need this to boost your strength in cold places, like up in the Hebra Mountains. It won't fill your belly, but if you're roaming outside the village, I'm sure you'll find it useful. Oh. You know, cooking with ice fruit is pretty easy. You should try it whenever you need a boost. Ah. I love learning how to cook. I'm gonna cook stuff that's so tasty, it makes everyone in the whole vi village smile. I wanna be like Mama. Oh. Thank you for the fish, mister. I'm going to make a real yummy meal with it. Misa's recipe cookbook. It looks to be a collection of the Slippery Falcon's recommended uh, recipes. Hot buttered apple. First, you want to buy goat butter here at the Slippery Fountain. Simply cook goat butter and an apple together and the hot buttered apple is complete. Adding a spicy pepper to the mix is a good way to warm up your whole body. 
Some ingredients may be in short supply due to the blizzard. We appreciate your patience as we restock. First, you want to buy tabenta wheat, goat butter, and cane sugar here at the Sleepy Fountain. Toss these three ingredients in the pot alongside your favorite type of nut to make a nut cake. For an added cake, try substituting the nut with something else. An apple is a good starting point to experiment with. Some ingredients may be short in supply due to the blizzard. We appreciate your patience as we restock. Along with those, add rock salt to your choice and your choice of fish to cook them all together. Ta-da! A fish pie is ready to eat. If you don't have rock salt, you might find some by mining from all deposits. That's Misas. There you are! Hi hi, thanks for coming in, even though it's snowing so hard. It's cold in the village, but it's even colder on top of the mountain. You'll freeze solid at the peak if you don't find a way to keep warm. Lucky for you, we sell warm clothes. Huh? What brings you to the shop today? Oh. This is the Brazen Beak armor shop. We have warmer armor. I know it's chilly here, but you know what? They say it's even colder at the top of the mountain. Brrr. You don't want to freeze up there, mister. Bundle up with some warm gear right here at the present peak. Yeah. Are you leaving, mister? Let me give you a neat tip first. People are finding more caves all the time on the road east of here and on the way up in the Hebron Mountain. Caves are nice because they're warm. You can hide out from the cold there if you don't have our outfits. Plus, you can find shiny ores inside the sparkly rocks sometimes. <laughs> we'll pay a lot for those ores, so you'll keep the folks at the general store. Keep an eye and so will the folks at the general store. So keep an eye, eagle eye out for them. Thousand. 500 650 Let's sell some first Not even enough. Sounds so depressing though. Yeah. I'm taking I'm taking my time just to look yep. at these yep. little details because 
You can actually hear that ominous tone. Just like how in Breath of the Wild, where Nadra was covered in malice, there's that ominous tone right there. And it's the same for here. This is where one of the one of Tabas's friend used to be. But this is this is all where the five kids sleep. Flight range used to be there. This was where the shrine used to be. The shrine used to be here. Now it's just nothing. <coughs> Tabas room. This was Tabas room. Is Canelli still there? Saki? You freeze them solid. There's a shrine there. Hmm, how about...
about this one? Huh? huh? You need something, mister? Cause I'm actually kinda busy. Oh. My papa told me you can use ice fruit to freeze monsters solid. Wow. Which gave me an amazing idea for an invention. Uh -huh. My problem is, I can't go out to pick fruit right now, with the blizzard and all. Oh, uh, it's so not fair. This is the best invention I can come up with in so long, but without ice fruit, I can't make it. Molly the Fletcher's Quest huh? hmm? Mister, I felt a cold breezing coming from your pouch. Huh? Huh, mister, what's that you've got? It's the ice fruit I wanted, isn't it? Wow, looks... Like you also got some cold jelly like stuff. Is that what is that white choo choo jelly from one of the monsters? They'll freeze you solid if you touch it. <gasps> wow, it's not exactly what I had in mind, but I bet I can use that to make my big invention. May I have one of either the ice fruit or the white choo jelly please? Uh take the ice fruit I guess. Yay! Now I can finally make my invention! Oh. When I attach this to the tip of an arrow, I'll have an arrow that can freeze monsters from far away. Yeah. Sometimes I'm so smart I scare myself a little. I wonder what would happen with other materials you could make with arrows with all sorts of effects. Ah. Wow, listen to me. With every breath, I spill out brilliance. Wow. Ah. But I should probably stop talking before I give away all my best ideas. Anyway, here's a thank you present. Nice. Thank you for that. Ah. You know the reason I like making arrows? It's my papa. He creates the strongest bows around. I wanted to make arrows that go perfectly with his bows. All I have to do is keep working hard, getting my name out there, and one day... Ah. I'll be a world famous arrow maker. One my papa can be proud of. Oh. Revali's landing. Teba? Teba and Saki! Ready, Gobo? It's Teba! You know I can do it! So Tulin wants to be strong. This is Teba's place. So what happened to Connelly? This is where the person who wants the baked apple used to be. Connelly. He's gone. Nelly's gone. The old giant owl is gone. This is probably a cutscene.
we might enter some kind of cutscene here. So let's see. That's not fair at all! You know I can handle it! Checking out that huge cloud wouldn't be hard. I could even do it alone! If we don't do anything, the village... Link, they told me you were missing. It's good to see you doing well. Good to see you alive, Tabba. I was getting worried if you were like gone. But it looks like the one that's gone is. It feels like the one that's gone is Canelli. Sorry, I was replying some message. Okay. Let's start again. Link, they told me you were missing. It's good to see you doing well. To be honest, Teba, I was dead scared that you are not going to make it. But still, it, it's, sad. it's quite sad to see the one that is really missing is... Canelli, the old owl. Teba, new Rito elder. Oh. <gasps> Saki, it's very nice to see you again. Yes, Saki, you too. Huh. Do you remember my son, Tulin? He's grown taller, though perhaps not yet grown up. Uh. Well, maybe I would if you didn't treat me like a hatchling all the time. As long as you still think you can take on the world by yourself, you'll always be my little cheek. Uh, what? You think I can't? I'm already full-fledged, you know. You'll change your tune once I ace today's scouting trip. You all can keep wasting your time treating the song of the Stormwind arc like it's real, but not me. Listen, you... Mm. Unbelievable. Tulin wants me to let him go find what's causing the blizzard. And he's having trouble hearing no. He mentioned a song. Ah. It's an old folk song here in Rito village. Long, long ago, when we faced a different sort of upheaval, the village was safe thanks to a great flying ship. Or so claims the song that's been passed down through generations. Hmm. It's a song for children, mind you. Few adults still parrot it as if it were true. Still, every now and then, you get reports among the Rito on a flying, of a flying ship. Combine that with the blizzard caused by this upheaval, and it seems less far-fetched.
even if the song of the Stormwind Arc is just a child children's rhyme, I suspect that there is something lurking high in the sky. But the area is so turbulent now that no Rito can fly cl close enough to look at it, to look into it. This is why I say we need to make careful preparations to find the truth, but Tulin... He thinks we cling to that song out of cowardice. Hmm. Huh. But these are Rito matters. You came for some purpose, yes? <coughs> what? This is terrible news, so then not even Hyrule Castle is safe. If Princess Zelda's disappearance and the strange phenomena around the world are related somehow... Hmm... Mm. We Rito would ordinarily, ordinarily love to contribute to your search. But this abnormal blizzard shows no sign of stopping, and food has grown scarce. Everyone I could spare is already out researching the blizzard or scavenging for food. You have Panda Reporter, you have Bilson Sawson? No, Sawson is the, the Hylian. Bilson is probably the one with the construction. Mm. My husband hasn't been able to leave the village much since becoming the village elder. Yeah, now we know why. Oh, Canelli has gone. This is sad. Hmm. I wish there was something I could do. Huh. Ah, but maybe I'm not the only. I'm not the one you want. You should try asking Hearth. Your your partner. My friend Hearth has many sources of information, so he might already have a lead about Princess Zelda. You see the two bonfires on that way? Hmm. He's in the lodge near there, if you like to try visiting him. So much to do. Tulin of Rito Village. Hmm. Managing food resources and supplies, granting audience to and such, this village elder gig just isn't sitting right with me. Life was so much easier when all I had to do was hunt. Just me and my bow. Hmm. But you didn't come here you didn't come to hear me complain. What can I help you with? Huh. That's the name of a ship that features in an old Rito children's song. Hold on, can I That's Rivali's bow, isn't it? So it's passed on to you then? As the song goes, long ago, when a disaster threatened our village, a god sent us a great flying ship. The blessed winds created by the ship put everything right. Hmm. Doesn't sound like something that really happened, huh? But this never-ending blizzard counts as a disaster to me. I take everything... I take anything if it would save us from this, even a children's story. I guess the truth is somewhere out there past that ominous cloud. Anything else you want help with? Hmm. Haven't heard anything yours myself. Did you try asking Hearth? He has good sources. If anyone has a lead on Princess Zelda, it will be him. You'll find Hearth in the lodge to the north. If you get lost, use the pair of bonfires to, that keep burning as a landmark. Hmm. Alright then. If you decide to visit Hearth, take care of yourself. The closer you get to that cloud, the colder you'll get. You need to take extra precaution against the blizzard. Ah, I'm concerned for Tulin. He believes that he is fully fledged, but he has not yet grasped one of the most fundamental lessons. One cannot accomplish great feats without allies at one's side. I hope he realizes that soon.
The new Rito Elder, a Rito warrior who once helped Link save Rito Village. Yup. He took out the mentor village elder from Canelli to become the new leader of his people. As the new leader, as the new elder, he's under pressure to deal with the strange weather ass assailing Rito Village. Yep, there he is. There he is. The son of Rito Elder Tiba. When Link first visited his village, Tulin was still a child growing up in his father's shadow, and his eyes would light up when he watched Link and Tiba practice at the flight range. Yep. That'd be the one. The chief of the Shiga tribe, she takes the duties she inherited from her grandmother Impa seriously, and she draws strength in her own way from being a gentle soul at heart. She has considerable affection for Link, in part because of her grandmother's many tales about the hero who defeated the calamity. Oh, they changed the script a little. Okay, we'll pause here because this is where we will end our adventure. So next we are heading to where Hearth is. It's going to be a tough one and I do have a feeling we're either going to need lots of spicy pepper Lots of cold resistant food. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, sure, sure. Oh, milk. So, so sound good. We have 13 of them. Hopefully, they last. If not, I'm gonna be in deep trouble. We'll save it for here. And we'll continue in a ne next recording. Alright, until then, take good care, everybody. This is Caterpillar Tomoko. Signing out.